Hello everyone, it's your girl Naturally Cookie with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. I appreciate the love. So we're gonna get into this deep conditioner that I do. So this is my DIY deep conditioner. You can basically make it with all the things that you probably already have at home. And um, I'm gonna get right into it. So I have my blender cup here. I have in these six bowls are starting here is coconut milk, organic coconut milk, a whole banana, one whole avocado. I have about one third cup of Greek organic yogurt. I have one third, one fourth of a cup, I'm sorry, of my infused growth oil. You can use any carrier oil you have at home, avocado, um, extra virgin olive oil, grapeseed oil, any carrier oil you have at home if you don't have an infused growth oil that you've already made. And the recipe to my infused growth oil is on my channel. And then in this one here I have mayonnaise, one third cup of mayonnaise. So, I'm going to add all of my ingredients into my blender. That is the coconut milk. Infused growth oil. Organic Greek yogurt. One whole banana. one whole avocado and about one third one fourth cup of mayonnaise and let me get something to clean all of that out Now you can take this deep conditioner an extra step by putting one whole egg in it. I prefer not to put egg in this mixture only because I plan on using it as a deep conditioner. So I'll be applying heat to it. Putting my plastic cap on my head after I shampoo. And sitting up under the dryer. After I sit up under the dryer for about 15 minutes, I'm then going to steam for 15 minutes by taking the plastic cap off and sitting under my steamer for 15 minutes. And being that I'm placing heat on this, I don't want to put egg in it due to the fact that the egg will cook in your hair and you'll have hell trying to get all of the egg particles out of your hair once it starts cooking. So, and also if you use egg, make sure you rinse it out with cold water and not warm. So I did not put egg in this mixture for that reason only. I do know that there is egg in the mayonnaise, however, it is not enough that it will cook into your head. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. This is how it's looking in the blender and I'll be right back. Okay, my next step is after blending, I'm going to take a bowl. I'm going to put a stocking over the bowl because that's what I'm going to do use to strain it. So let's see if I can get this stocking over the bowl. This is how my mixture is looking and it's already nice and creamy, but I just want to make sure there's no clumps in it. So I am going to strain it through a clean stocking, never been used before. You can find these at Dollar Tree for a dollar for a pack.
let me get a Clorox wipe to clean up my area. All right, so I'm gonna take this stock, and I love that lip like that, so it'll be easy for me to remove the stocking off the bowl. And you want to use these two fingers here, close and lock the thumb around the stocking, and just pull down. Let's see if I switch hands. So, huh. using your thumb, lock it around the stocking, and just pull down and all of that nice creamy mixture. It should just come right out. Let me see if I can open up the stocking to let you see what was left behind. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but those are residue from the banana, the banana seeds, as well as from the avocado. And you don't want that in your hair. No matter what mixture you make at home for your deep conditioners, no matter how you feel that it may be creamy, even if you're using powders like bentonite clay or Rasul clay or any Amla henna, no matter what you use, even though it may seem creamy to the eye, you want to make sure that you always strain it with a stocking or a nut milk bag to get all of the particles out. Not all the powder blend or mix up smooth. It clumps up sometimes, and you don't want that in your hair. It's going to be hard to shampoo or rinse it out. And you don't want to have to shampoo your hair after the deep conditioner because then that will revert your whole process of trying to lock in the moisture after the shampooing. So this is the consistency that I have here. And as you can see, it is nice and creamy. What I don't use which I'm probably going to use all of this because of how thick my hair is and how long my hair is. But what you don't use, you can always store it in the freezer by purchasing a silicone mold like this one here. You would pour your remainder in your silicone mold, place it in the freezer and freeze it. After freezing it for 24 hours, you will pop them out. They'll look like nice big ice cubes. Place it in the Ziploc bag and put it back in the freezer and just take it out when you are ready to use. So this was a quick video on how I make my deep conditioner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next video on how I will apply this to my hair. And until next time, everyone stay blessed. This is Naturally Cooking. Thanks for watching my video.